Hi there, and welcome to this BEAM onboarding session. My name's Sabrina, and I'm here to help you turn your iPhone into an eye tracker, a head tracker, or a webcam. We're really happy to see you here, and we hope you'll have a great experience while using BEAM. This app is in a beta version, which means that there are still parts that need polishing, but it definitely gets the job done. The ideal setup for eye and head tracking is like the one in this picture. Your phone is placed horizontally, and it's centered with the screen the game is active on. To get started, you need to have the following. An iPhone or an iPad with Face ID, a Windows PC or a laptop with Windows 10, but please don't use a virtual machine, Open track if you want to use Beam as a head tracking input device and 2 gigabytes of free space on your computer. In this walkthrough, you can see I'm using an iPhone, but an iPad is just as good. On your Apple device, please open the email with the download link. When you click on it, you'll be directed to installing TestFlight. If you're wondering what TestFlight is, worry not, it's just the native Apple app we're using for inviting users to test the app and collect feedback before we actually release it on the App Store. After TestFlight is installed, please click on the download link again and you will now be prompted to install the iOS app called iWare Beam. In this testing phase, standard anonymous data is collected regarding usage, performance and crashes. When on this screen, please insert your email address so you can receive the desktop app download link. Please check your email and install the desktop app. We can now go through the onboarding steps. The first screen you'll see briefly presents what you can use Beam for. Going forward, there are a couple of settings that you need to check. Please follow the on-screen instructions. Click Next. Take your phone and in the Beam app at the bottom of your screen, click on I have the desktop app installed. Then, please tap streaming. Next, you need to write your IP address as seen on the Beam app screen into the text box you see here. Click Save. If everything went according to plan, you will see the text Connection established successfully. Place the phone in front of you and next to the screen the game is active on, the screen you want eye or hair tracking to be active for. Please take a few seconds to look at the information here. You should be able to see yourself in the rectangular in the middle. It represents the screen you're enabling eye and head tracking for. You have several positions you can choose from for placing your phone. The ideal position is horizontal and centered to the screen the game is active on, but whatever option you choose, please just indicate in the software the position and orientation of your phone. So the next and final step is the calibration of the tracker. For this step to work, please make sure the phone is in a stable position, that your face is well illuminated and that the camera sees your face. And last but not least, please don't blink when clicking on the calibration points. For calibrating your phone and turning it into an eye tracker and a head tracker, all you have to do now is click on the center of each hexagon while you're looking at it. And this is it, you're done. Just remember, you can come back and recalibrate every time you need to. You can now see your eye beams. They indicate that eye and head tracking are working properly. So you can also see them active in the tree menu. That way you can easily check whether eye tracking is on. Let's take a look at the tree menu and get this started. You can see here your eye beams. The state should be connected tracking. It means that the phone is connected and that eye and head tracking are on. And now for the part you've been waiting all along. To activate the gaze bubble, just click that toggle. Does that feel good or what? When you want to recalibrate, you can click on calibrate and you will go through the hexagon exercise. From the burger menu, you can access the settings area. 
The gaze bubble can be changed in color, size, sharpness, trail type. When you're using head tracking in simulator games, this is where you can change the input port from. You can also change your screen size and your IP address. Under help, you will find the recommendations for using Beam, the ones you've read during onboarding. And here you have the about section. If you're using Beam as a head tracker, please go to community.iwear.tech where you can find this step-by-step -step guide called Open Track Integration, Beam as a Head Tracker in Games. You can also find the link in the description below. On the forum, you can learn about Beam, interact with the community, reach out for help whenever you get stuck, or tell us about those features you've been dreaming about. It's here where you'll read about updates, special offers, and where you'll get the latest on eye tracking and head tracking in both gaming and streaming. And it's a wrap. Remember to write in community.iwar.tech when you need help. And until then, eat, sleep, game, and repeat.